This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Oh, I think we're rolling. Hello again. <laughs> we just have too good a time on this show. We hope you do too. Hey, I saw you and a... In a picture with Charles Curtis, how'd that happen? Honey, I get around. I know all the cool people, you yeah. know, important people. I know them all. Yeah. yeah. Me and Charlie, we're like that. Yeah, he looked we're a little like green, that. but nothing than that. You well, know. you know, bronze does that to you, you know. <laughs> Just look at your baby boots. You know, when they put those in bronze, they turn a little green, too. But, yeah. Oh, Charles Curtis, the uh, latest statue to be dedicated on Kansas Avenue. And I was talking with Marsha Oliver, um, who is on the board of downtown Topeka, and we were talking about how, you know, this capital city, not just the state house, but this capital city belongs to everybody in Kansas. You know, by golly, your tax dollars are making things happen in this state. Come and see what your capital city looks like today. And of mm -hmm. course, speaking of tax dollars, a lot of private funding went into the project on Kansas Avenue. So it's, uh, it's amazing. You're gonna love it. It's gonna make you proud. And I was so proud to be a part of the dedication of the Charles Curtis statue. <laughs> Come see it. Mayor Larry Walgast commented that of all the statues installed on Kansas Avenue thus far, the only native Topekan is Native American Charles Curtis. Crystal Douglas, representing the Caw Nation, said, to us, he is Cousin Charlie. Pat Doran of the Federal Home Loan Bank said, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for him. We at Ag AM have been involved in producing a documentary on the life of this amazing man. The first segment on his childhood may be viewed on the Kansas Humanities website. In the meantime, visit Charles Curtis on Kansas Avenue, just a couple of blocks from the state office building that bears his name. The Federal Home Loan Bank is placing a bronze plaque next to his statue. It reads, Born in Topeka, great-grandson of Chief White Plume of the Caw Nation and first Native American Vice President, a champion of the American farmer, an advocate for women's suffrage, and a standard bearer for granting citizenship to Native Americans. Charles became a member of the U.S. House of Representatives in 1893 with the 53rd Congress, serving seven terms. Elected to the U.S. Senate 1907, and serving in that capacity for 20 years. Charles served as Senate Majority Leader before he became Vice President of the United States in 1929. Charles was instrumental in the passage of the Federal Home Loan Bank Act and the establishment of a Federal Home Loan Bank in Topeka. The sculptor, Elizabeth Zeller, in 2015. We have to go. I'm Frank. I'm Deb. And we'll see you somewhere around, around Kansas. Kansas.